Que tal muchachos? Uh, this is Mr. Carey giving you the instructions for the Quien Soy Yo discussion board. Uh, don't, don't stress. Don't be intimidated. I know this is the very beginning and I know you may be quite rusty or you say that oh, I didn't learn much last year. It's been so long. We're, this is just trying me trying to get a feel for where you guys are at. How much prior knowledge you guys have of Spanish from last year? How much prior knowledge you have from middle school? So don't stress on it. Uh, this is just to gauge where you guys are currently at. These are the five questions that I want you guys to answer for your Quien Soy Yo discussion. First question, Como eres tú? Como eres tú is asking, who are you? as a person, your personality, or your physical attributes. Second question, ¿Qué te gusta hacer en tus ratos libres? ¿Qué te gusta hacer en tus ratos libres? is asking, what do you like to do in your free time? I'm looking for five activities for that second question. Uh, and for the first question, forgive me, I'm looking for five adjectives. Third question, ¿Qué es tu materia favorita y por qué? ¿Qué es tu materia favorita y por qué? Is asking, what is your favorite subject and why? Tell me what your favorite subject is in Spanish and give me an adjective. Uh, or a verb to describe that class and why it's your favorite. Participas en un club o reporte? ¿Y cuáles? Participas en un club o reporte is asking, do you participate in a club or sport? And if you do, which ones? And the last question, ¿Cómo es tu familia? is asking, what is your family like? Physical attributes or characteristics. This one's going to be a bit long, and I'll go over exactly what I want for that question here in short order. So, to run that back for all these questions, here's, here, here are more guided instructions of what I'm looking for for each. So, again, that first question, ¿Cómo eres? Asking, who are you as a person? You guys are going to begin your response with yo soy and then pick five adjectives that you would use to describe yourself. You guys can use word reference or any other online dictionary. Guys, don't throw it into Google Translate though. Um, if you want to maybe use Google Translate as your dictionary, I don't know if I would recommend that. You're only going to get one possible answer. Uh, in Google Translate, but a dictionary is going to give you a variety of possibilities. So really, guys, I want you to try to steer away from Google Translate as it's not foolproof at all. A dictionary is going to be foolproof and no different than English, right, in terms of trying to find the word that you're looking for. So back to the question, begin with yo soy, and then five adjectives that you would use to describe your physical appearance or your personality. Now remember, your adjectives need to agree in gender, the gender that you identify with. So if you ad identify as male, then you'll want to make sure your adjectives, for the most part, end in O. If you identify as female, then your adjectives are going to end in A. Unless you use a gender-neutral adjective like inteligente in my response. ¿Qué te gusta hacer en tus ratos libres? What do you like to do in your free time? And I'm looking for five verbs that you like to do in your free time here. Five activities. Begin with in mis ratos libres. In my free time. Me gusta. As I like. And then just list five verbs. Five things you like to do. Leer, viajar, escuchar música. Mirar películas con mi familia y cocinar. Don't worry about pronunciation, guys. Uh, it's Spanish, too. I, I would expect you to still be learning 
uh, correct pronunciation. ¿Qué es tu materia favorita y por qué? Your favorite subject and why. Now we're getting a little bit more elaborate in terms of our sentence structure, but I want you to use the template that I've provided you here uh, to guide you and just fill in the blanks that I've highlighted for you. I'm going to begin with mi materia favorita, my favorite subject, es, and then replace español with your favorite subject. Matemáticas, ciencia, historia, educación física, arte, lo que sea, whatever it may be. Por qué is saying because, and then the, here's the tricky part. You're going to want to take a verb that you would associate with that class and conjugate it. When I say conjugate it, I mean take it from the root form, the base form, like the way that you did in the previous response. Leer means to read. Escuchar música is to listen to music. Cocinar is to cook. I want you to change it from the base form, the way it shows up here, conjugate it into the first person to say I cook, I read, or I listen to music. That's what I did to the verb hablar here. I changed hablar, you can see that second underlined word, to hablo, and that's I talk. ¿Cierto? Hablo con mis amigos en clase. Me gusta la clase de español porque es interesante. So for that second sentence, of course, replace español with your favorite subject if it is in Spanish, and then the second blank, replace it with whatever adjective you would use to describe that class. Okay, so for this question, favorite subject and one verb and one adjective to describe it. Participas en un club o deporte? Si yo participo en... Fútbol americano, banda, orchestra, leadership, which is liderazgo, any FFA, anything you guys want to put in there, you're more than welcome. Or if you're not quite uh, involved in, in something yet at Liberty, then you would say no participo en un club o deporte. No participo. In un club o deporte, and then use this formula here that I've put there for you guys to say how long you've been participating in that club or sport. You can see hace and que basically mean since or for, talking about a duration of time. Those don't change. The only thing that's going to change is the length of time. That's in blue there. So if you've been doing Band for two years, you would say hace dos años. If you've been doing it for even longer, going back to middle school, hace cuatro años, hace ocho años, diez años, whatever increment of time. So hace, length of time, que, and then your action verb is whatever it is that you do. So you're going to replace toco los tambores en la banda en marcha with whatever action verb that describes your, your activity, your club or sport. Juego, juego as I play, practico, practico as I practice, or you could just even use participo, um, which is in that first part of the sentence. Use participo uh, if you're short on verbs to use. The last question, guys, having to do with your family. Now, this one's by far the longest, but totally doable. Three adjectives to describe your family. Three things you guys like to do when you're together. And pick two family members and use three adjectives to describe each of them. So it's very similar to the first question. First question again, you guys used five adjectives to describe yourself. And very similar, you guys are going to use five, excuse me, 
Oops. You guys are going to use three adjectives to describe your family, nuclear family. You can see there on the bottom, I've chose, chosen my sister, mi hermana, my brother, mi hermano, and then three adjectives to describe each of them. Remember gender, and the gender that they identify with, you're going to want to make sure that the ending agrees. O ending for masculine, A ending for feminine. And then the middle sentence there, mi familia y yo nos gusta. That sentence looks a lot like your second response. Rather than just talking about yourself, now you're talking about what you and your family like to do together. That's how we got from me gusta, which is I like, to nos gusta, which is we like, mi familia y yo. And then same thing, list three uh, things that you and your family like to do when you're together. So those are your five questions, guys. What do you like as a person? Como eres? Que te gusta hacer en tus ratos libres? Your hobbies and interests. Que es tu materia favorita y por qué? What is your favorite subject and why? Participas en un club deporte? Do you participate in any extracurriculars? And then lastly, como es tu familia? Uh, what is your family like? So thank you for your patience in going through that video with me. You can play it back as many times as you need to. Go nice and slow. Use my examples. And actually what I do further on in this PowerPoint, uh, which I'm actually going to have you guys create something like this here in the weeks to come, uh, you guys can see the examples. Now this is way above and beyond uh, what I'm expecting of you guys. What I'm expecting of you guys in terms of duration you guys can use the examples right? that I have for each of those five questions. But if you want to see what it looks like in presentation format, this is what I'm looking for in terms of pictures and what have you. So if you want ideas, you can go further on in, in my example PowerPoint. Or if you just want to stick with those concrete examples, that's at the very beginning. All right, guys, but I'll leave that to you to work on. Uh, feel free to utilize one another in your your Zoom breakout room as a resource. Help one another. And I'll be going around and checking in on you guys and seeing how you're doing. Good luck, guys, in answering the key question for this discussion. ¿Quién soy yo?